everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video i am just kind of summarizing overall the upgraded filming setup that i have invested in and by invested i mean not spent that much money on but spent more than i did on my last tripod and i am so so excited to get starting to film on this because i want to be able to film in my room instead of the front room which is harder during the day at lunchtime or if my parents need to do something or my sister's visiting and I want to get a video filmed for you all. I bought for $25 this tripod like over counter what is it called sky view kind of kind of tripod for my phone so I can film all my different videos because that's my biggest thing is I film videos from like a sky view while I'm like demonstrating something to you guys instead of filming kind of like what I'm doing right now where it's just with one hand and it's a bit shaky so I got this from Amazon for $25 and the reason why I'm upgrading now my filming setting is setup is because I've already been making videos for a year and I don't want to stop anytime soon so now that it's been a year since it's been two years since I bought my tripod but it's been a year since I've been seriously filming I decided to go ahead and find a affordable tripod that wasn't like $80 or something and luckily I did so I'm going to show you how it looks right now. So, I have my tiny little desk here. This I've had this desk for at least 15 years. I'm totally being serious with that. I think I've had it since I was at least 10 years old. It's just a really pretty simple light. It's got little scratches or... I don't know where this is from. It's got little scratches for sure, but... It's still the perfect setup for these Skyview, these Skyview videos that I like to do with this tripod. So I haven't actually put my phone on it yet. I'm going to test it out right now, but I just kind of wanted to show you how it looks from an outside perspective. Super excited about that. And fun fact, I've had very bad light in my room since at least 2011, so about 10 years now, because my like main room light blown, like, like just stopped working in high school, and I've always liked the dark more, so I just use a simple lamp and my closet light if I ever need to like film. I mean, not film. I haven't been filming for 10 years or something, just to like do something. I just rely on my closet light and a lamp, but besides natural lighting, which is right here with the window, which is awesome, I also bought these LED lights that I saw, oh no, Nina from YouTube do in her room, and I, I just felt so inspired to use them too because I felt like they look so pretty. And this is a 16 foot up here and my room is very small and there's two beds in my room too for my sister and myself we've always shared that and I think the 16 foot's gonna work fine so I'm super excited about that but yeah that's overall my little upgrade so I'll do a test run with video shortly but just wanted to show how I looked outside of the tripod okay so this is how the tripod looks on its own while I'm here recording and then just standing this is amazing oh my gosh even the lighting like the natural lighting looks so good so if i ever need to film something i also have my ring light and this doesn't require an outlet obviously because it's just a tripod and my phone so i can use i can just use it perfectly this is so exciting oh my gosh and here's my phone case here's some cardboard in the background but I, what, what i want to do is i want to get my pink actually let me get it really quick have my pink little setup here which actually might be too small now because I'm filming further away I hope it doesn't shake too much no so I think I'm going to upgrade with the pink one that I have on my desk right now in my front uh like where I work basically so let me try that really quick okay so I brought my mat and it's perfect for covering up the entire filming like area the one thing though is it does come off my desk a little bit because my desk is tiny for sure but i'm going to go online and get the smaller version of the mat and i'll be able to keep this one in the front where i work during the day and then i'll have one in my office i mean my room for like my actual desk setup so i can't wait i'm so so excited so this is my official upgrade here and i'm going to try to do the led lights but we'll see how that goes so Overall, this is going to be the new filming setup whenever you're 
watching me do stuff. Like, let me get my planner. So actually, let me just get my photo book because it's nearby. So whenever I'm doing my photo card setup, you'll be able to see here. I do try to open this at least once a week so that the pages don't like stick too much. But oh, the one thing I do need to be careful is it looks like it is shaky a little bit. So that's one thing I'll need to be careful when I'm filming. But overall, this is this is perfect. And then I can always just, I think I can actually move the tripod a little bit down more. Yes. And that was super, that took like no trouble at all. I'm so excited. Perfect. So there you have it. That's my new filming setup. I will either talk about the LED lights just on their own or maybe I'll do a quick footage here at the end before I wrap things up but that's what I did I bought it like I said off of Amazon which Amazon Amazon's something else but it was luckily affordable and I don't buy off of there too too much I have them lately because I got this I got this from Amazon too but it worked for me hopefully if you don't want to buy it off of Amazon there is something available I'm sure Walmart and Target you know what Best Buy would have Best Buy would have something good for sure so overall that is a quick update video of my new filming setup and I'm so excited to get started oh my gosh I can't wait I hope you are excited too and stay tuned for future videos like this one thank you all so much for watching don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos and I will talk to you on my next one bye everyone so here are the lights and they fit the entire wall that I wanted them to go on which is nice. However, it does awkwardly stop there a little bit but I'm proud of myself for even putting them up straight because if you follow my plan with me as you know I'm not great with straight lines like putting down stickers straight. I feel like I always mess them up. Actually I did mess it up right there but no one will notice. But just to kind of display the different colors on this remote, it's just, you just like release a little sticker. You don't even need a, a battery for it or anything, but let's try out the different colors. Let's look at this lighting here. So we'll do red. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is super red. Oh my gosh. Green. Let me try one of the other colors. So what you do is you click on the primary color, like the red here, and then I guess underneath the row you can pick whichever color. Oh my gosh, that's such a pretty, it's like a teal. Let me try the warm with the different whites, that's super bright white. Let's try, ooh that's really purple. And then it has like all these different buttons down here that I need to look up. I guess it's like, it's essentially like neon lights. Like you can use these like at a, if you own an arcade or something or like a roller rink, I want to say. Or if you just want to do like a retro party or something. I don't even know if roller rinks are still around <laughs> or arcades for that matter. But anyway, that's the lighting here. So I can always do like a really cool, maybe like... Let me see how the lighting looks here. The lighting looks pretty good. So if I wanted to do something like, like a sit down video with the lighting like that, I think I could do it. Cause the cool thing with my ring light is that the, the ring light has a little phone stand on it. So I don't even need the ring light. I could just use the, the tripod the way it is and I'll be good to go oh my gosh I'm so excited I might even get more so that I can go all the way to the other wall but we'll see anyway I'm gonna end the video here thank you all so much for watching I can't wait to start using this and the tripod 
And I think my first video is going to be my study with me. Oh, I still have some sticker. I still have some stuff to throw out, but my first video is going to be a study with me. And I'm going to be taking notes for reg, which I really need to do right now. I'm going to do a final review example the same way I did with audit. Didn't get a chance to do a BEC, but I'm definitely going to do that for audit. I mean, for reg, so... I'm going to end the video here. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm so, so excited to create future videos and just keep on, just keep on creating. And hopefully, let's see, this video should go up right before my winter package video. Or maybe right after. So I think my winter, my BTS winter package is going to be my first video in my new filming setup. I can't wait to open that and I can't wait to do it in this really like nice setting and environment and it's in my room so I don't feel like I'm disturbing anyone or anything like that so oh, I can't wait I'm so excited but anyway thank you all so much for watching again and I will talk to you in my next video bye everyone